Hi everyone, my name is Sid Damala from the Azure Virtual WAN team, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a secure virtual WAN hub with Azure Firewall. So there are a couple of prerequisites that we need to go over before we can actually start. So first you need to be on your Azure portal website and you need to already have a virtual WAN resource deployed. In addition to having the virtual WAN resource deployed, you should have a virtual WAN hub deployed within that resource. And so here you can see I'm in my virtual WAN resource and here is my hub where I actually want to secure it with an Azure firewall. I want to first start off by clicking on the hub. It'll take me to this overview page and here under security, I can simply click. Now under this first page, it'll show me a list of hubs. So what I want to do is make sure I'm on the right subscription. So to refresh that, you can click select all and then unclick select all and then go to your desired subscription. And there I can see my hub name are automatically checkmarked. So I'm going to simply click next Azure Firewall. For Azure Firewall, I'm going to hit enabled for the firewall tier standard should fulfill our purposes, but I'll put a link in our description about some of the additional features that premium offers, such as increased IDPS. For availability zone, I'll say none. Um, and one I public IP address should be sufficient for our use case. Below we see a list of firewall policies. There is a default deny policy, test firewall policy and so forth. If I want to put in my own firewall policy, I can create one. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to right click here, say duplicate tab. And then here I'm going to type in firewall policies. There we go. I'm going to create a firewall policy. I will choose the right subscription. Choose the resource group. I'll call it YouTube demo firewall policy. Region, put it in my desired region for my resource group. And a standard policy should be sufficient for our case. I'm going to put in the default settings for the remaining workflow. So disable uh, for DNS settings over here. So this feature will not be enabled on my Azure Firewall policy. TLS inspection, as you can see, is only available for premium policies. And then rules is where we put in the majority of our work here. So I'm going to click here on this plus icon where it says add a rule collection. I'm going to call it YouTube demo rule one. I'm going to keep it as a network rule. Priority, uh, the lower the number, the higher the priority and 100 is the lowest number available. So I'll say 100 and I will say allow for this rule collection action. So for name, I will say allow all. For source type, IP address should work. I want to allow all IP addresses is as a source field, so I'll simply hit this asterisk mark over here. And then for protocol, I will allow any protocol to traverse this firewall. For destination port, I can specify a specific port here. So let's say I wanted to say 80. And then destination type, IP address. And then let's say the destination has to be something within the CIDR range. So I'll say 10.1.0.0/16. And here you can see if you want to allow any source IP address, you can put the uh, star asterisk as our wildcard. You can specify a port, you can specify the destination type, and you can also specify specific IP addresses or CIDR ranges. And here I'll say add. And then I'll go next to IDPS. And as you can see, IDPS is only available for premium policies with the threat intelligence. And then we can simply click 
keep clicking next until we get to this review and create screen. Then I'll click create. So we'll wait for several seconds for this to finish deploying. It shouldn't take too long. And once it is finished deploying, we're going to go back to our previous screen over here, this previous tab, and then actually choose this firewall policy for our Azure firewall that we're deploying on our hub. So it looks like status OK. It should be pretty much done by now. All right, deployment is complete. So I'm going to go back to my previous tab. I am going to unclick select all and then go to my desired subscription. Let's see if it pops up. YouTube demo firewall policy, that's what I just created. So I'm going to uncheck the default deny. I'm going to check mark my firewall policy here. Then I'll click next for security partner provider. Here I can actually choose a security partner provider with one of our uh, partner companies, such as Zscaler, Checkpoint, or iBoss. For this demo, I'll simply stick with Azure Firewall, but we will show how to integrate with these third party providers in future videos. Then I'll click review plus create. And it looks like our validation passed. And so I'm going to click confirm and this should initialize the deployment and secure my hub. OK, so after about 10 to 15 minutes, it'll give you a message saying that your deployment is complete. So what we can do now is actually go to that resource. And here we can see the firewall that we created called Azure Firewall underscore YouTube demo underscore secure hub. That's whatever name you want to give it. And it's configured with the public and private IP. And the private IP ranges are managed by the firewall policy. And here we can look at our firewall policy that we previously created. Here's the overview, but if I were to scroll down to network rules, I can actually see our network rule that we created to allow all IP addresses with this port, protocol, destination, etc. And now what I want to do is actually go back to my secure hub. So I'm going to go to overview. Under resource group, I'll click on the name of my resource group. I will go to my virtual WAN resource, wherever that's located. So that's over here, YouTube demo underscore secure hub. And then here I can see my hub. It says hub status succeeded and it says Azure Firewall deployed. So if I were to actually click on that hub and go one layer deeper, I can see that Azure Firewall, it is secured. And so if I wanted to actually manage the route settings for the secured virtual hub, I click on this blue box over here. I'll go to my desired subscription. Here is a virtual hub that is secured just as of recently. Under settings, I can go to security configuration. And then here I can actually specify how I want private, which is private traffic over here versus public internet traffic to be secured. So if I did want to secure internet traffic, I would click on Azure Firewall here. And if I wanted to secure private traffic, I can say send via Azure Firewall over here and then simply click save. And then here I see a warning sign. It says that it will cause the VWAN hub to advertise a default route to internet with next hop is Azure Firewall. So as long as you're not doing this during any high intensive uh, time period, if it's done during any sort of maintenance hours or any periods where a loss of internet con connectivity would be accepted, I can simply click OK. That might take several seconds for it to update, but as it does so, I'll simply show you what is under these little information symbols. So here under internet traffic, it says these settings apply to traffic from secured connections to the internet and then connections must be secured via the connection page in order for these settings to apply. And then similar for private traffic is this applies to VNet to VNet and branch to VNet traffic for all connections on this hub. And during preview, these prefixes must be defined explicitly. Okay, so it took about five to 10 minutes for the security configuration to be updated such that now 
any traffic that we're sending to the internet would first go through firewall and any private traffic such as branch traffic or vnet traffic would first go to Azure Firewall before then reaching its final destination. And so that concludes this video and thank you for your time.